It was a priest who came up with the idea of forming a team of migrants back in 2013 after local discontent with African migrants on their doorstep reached boiling point. Just three years earlier, nearly 40 migrants were wounded in racial violence that culminated in the Italian government sending in troops. Since then, the relationship forged through football has continued to develop. The relationship is very good, a beautiful relationship, sincere and in two years we have created something very exceptional and unique in my life. Ten years ago, I will never have thought I will be so important to them and they also so important to me. Living conditions for the team are far from ideal. Ten of the Coa Bosco players live in an unsheltered campsite of shipping containers and tarp on the outskirts of Rosarno in Reggio Calabria. Most find casual work on local farms in the area which has suffered chronic unemployment. For some, they believe it would have been better to stay at home. You see, the situation here is very difficult. It's too late for us. We're already here. But those who want to come, I don't want them to come. If there's work, fine. But there's no work, there's nothing to do. So better for them to stay there. Cote d'Ivoire-born team captain Yaya Diallo arrived on the small island of Lampedusa in 2013 and spent seven months on Malta while waiting for his permit to remain in Europe. For him and the rest of the team, things are now slowly starting to improve. We only think about winning. Our problem is the referees here in Bosco. All our decisions go against us, so out there on the pitch, it's tough. The first year was a real testing time, and then in the second year, we enrolled the team in the Italian Football Federation, and now, in our third year, it's very satisfying. In light of recent tragedy for so many risking their lives to reach countries like Italy, this team is slowly making strides in integrating following a journey many have failed to complete. Mahia Mutua, CCTV.